Hello, boys and girls. My name is Alter Steve, and welcome to another day in Minecraft. In this episode, I will complete the dragon model that I started last time. The head outline came quite naturally. The most I struggled with is the neck. I think the head will have the most details. For the legs, it's mainly beefing them up from the outline to make them work. To be frank, I imagined the legs to turn out better than they have. The hind legs will rest on top of a mountain that will probably not fit the way they are placed, so I think it's easier to terraform the mountain to get ground under the legs than the other way around. The head, on the other hand, is fantastic, at least in my opinion. It also seems the most detailed part, as I think when looking at the dragon you notice the head, the wings, the general colors. Therefore the head, being the smallest part of those, needs the most attention. Among the details of teeth and eyes, the wide range of different blocks might not even be noticeable at first. For the color, I was inspired by some lizards that put it up to appear more threatening. I tried several variants of ridges along the back, but none fitted with the idea I have for this dragon. Therefore, there are none. Let's recapitulate. The shape of the body is the first thing to settle, as everything else attaches to it. I use a lighter block for underneath. Both cobbled deep slate and blackstone have a wonderful texture that can be seen as scales. Then there are the wings attached to the shoulders. I think of them as a hand when it comes to the bone structure. To make them come alive they need to curve. The legs also attach to the body and as you go along you can tweak them so they become limbs that actually exist in all three dimensions with three toes in the front and a hidden one on the inside to the back. The head is the masterpiece and also the most detailed part. As this build requires quite a bit of materials, it will take a while until I have them gathered in survival. Once I have placed the dragon in its natural habitat, I will also provide a world download of the dragon, so tune in next time. Until then, goodbye!